Hello and welcome to part two in our ongoing series of Let's Learn How to Use the Lens Meter. From this point forward in this particular series, you're going to be working with our Learn the Lens Meter kit. The kit is available online at the Optician Works website. You'll get a box. Inside the box are going to be nine pieces and this booklet. The booklet starts with a review of what's in the kit. It'll give you some tips on using it. It'll give you two single vision lenses where you'll just learn how to move a lens around and what you see when you look in the lens meter. Start learning how to use the power drum. Then we'll jump into some job order forms and actually look at a single vision lens, a line bifocal and a progressive loose lenses. Then we'll get into mounted pairs uh, where we'll be doing some verification, final inspection kind of work. And then last, we'll wrap up with three examples of actual layout work for those of you that are interested in finishing. We're going to do a really brief whiteboard session because honestly, if you've never seen what's inside the lens meter, you've never worked with a lens first time, it really helps us to kind of get the big picture of things. Two housekeeping items before we move on. Remember that a manual lens meter is a subjective tool. As long as there is a human involved and I can turn knobs and I can turn power drums, it's a little subjective. You're going to get in those situations when you get into your first job and you're going to have Bob, the optician, come and say, oh, no, no, that's off power. And then Sue's going to come in behind him and go, no, it's not, it's fine, just keep going. There is a certain amount of subjective measure to a manual lens meter. So just always keep that in the back of your mind. Number two, I already talked about, if you go for your practical exam, you've been preparing, it's stressful, it's costs a lot of money, you drove 65 miles to get there, you're taking your practical exam, you wanna get your optician's license. If you do not do your focus for individual use before you jump into your layout or verification work, you will fail, don't do that. Make sure you've watched the video before this so you know how to do that and do it before you begin. There are four things we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the reticle. We're going to talk about sphere lines. We're going to talk about cylinder lines. And we're going to talk about the target. The reticle you've already seen when you watch that first video piece. And it's a, a grid of three, four, or five concentric circles. It does depend on the lens meter. They don't move. Uh, they'll always be in the same position. When you look into the lens meter, they're not gonna shift up or down. They're, it's a fixed graph. The one line here that goes across, you can move. When you move the chrome knurled sleeve, this will swing around, but it can only move in the 0180 plane. It doesn't move anywhere in this direction. If you go ahead, turn on your lens meter, Put your eye up against the eye cup. Rotate the power drum till you see that pattern. You should see three thin lines and three thick lines. They should be in focus. And if your lens meter is calibrated correctly, everything was working right, your PCD is in the correct position, this center grid pattern, this perfect center point, should be in the perfect center of this smallest ring, which I like to call the target. Because your goal 99% of the time is going to be to get this on target in here, perfectly split on these lines, perfectly split on that line. Your three thin lines on this pattern are your sphere lines. They indicate the sphere power of the lens that you're reading. The three bars or three thicker lines are your cylinder lines. They are going to be in focus when you are at the full power of the combination of the sphere and the cylinder value together. Unlike the reticle, which is fixed, if I have a lens in the lens meter, as I move the lens around, this is gonna move all over the place. This can go anywhere. It can also rotate around. If you take your axis wheel right now and spin the axis wheel, you'll see this spin around. By pulling back my lens holder a little bit, grabbing my lens and moving it around, 
this will shift within here. We're gonna look at that in just a minute with lens one so that you have an idea what I'm talking about. Last point I wanna make before we go to actually using the lens meter. There are times if you have a sphero cylinder lens, any lens with a sphere cylinder and axis, where only the sphere power lines will be in focus. You're only gonna have those three beautiful, crisp, straight, thin lines. You're gonna rotate your power drum away or, or two, depending on plus or minus cylinder, the value of your cylinder, and then you're gonna get your cylinder bars in focus. You may be able to see them kind of in the background, a little hazy, out of focus, but they will not be crisp and clear. All right, lens one, it says, and you can read along because you have this in your hand as well, is a basic, loose, single vision spherical lens. A spherical lens has the same power across the entire lens. We're gonna use lens one to learn to identify what we will see inside the lens meter when you look through the eyepiece. So let's grab lens one, let's unwrap lens one, and somewhere on that lens, if you look, you, you'll see a, an engraved mark for one, so make sure that somebody put them right in the, back in the right bags. You should already have watched the previous video. You should already have the lens meter set up so it's comfortable for you. It should already be dialed in to your particular eyesight. I'm gonna take my number one lens here. I'm gonna rest it against the lens top, and I'm gonna slowly and gently release my lens holder against the front of the lens. To get started, your power drum can be anywhere. I do want your axis wheel to be at zero. So rotate that around if you need to, so that you're reading, you're looking through that little magnifying glass and you've got a nice straight zero. That'll make sure that what you're seeing and what I'm talking about are both the same. What we're gonna do here is use this lens to practice two things. One is simply getting the lens in focus and two is getting that grid pattern, the crossover between the cylinder and the sphere lines in that perfect center of the target. We've got a 150 lens here. What I did was give you just enough power that you can move the lens around and see movement. As power goes up, getting it centered and getting it perfect becomes more and more difficult. Wait till you get to your first minus seven or plus seven. It's gonna be a whole lot harder. That's why I want you to practice, practice, practice. That's all this number one, lens number one, this first lesson is about. Let's practice just bringing the lens into focus. Looking through the eyepiece, your center cross where the sphere and the cylinder lines come together, it may be displaced, it may not be perfectly centered, it might be up and over or down. It's all right, let's just practice bringing it into focus. Rest your eye on the eyepiece, and simply rotate the power drum towards you, away from you, towards you, and you will see eventually where that lens is gonna come in to focus. And simply practice that. Practice so you get a feel for the drum. Watch what happens when you're looking inside. See how the lines come into focus. Go back out, come back in. Practice, practice. And one more time, let's bring that into focus and stop. To bring a lens into target, I have no idea where your lens is in your lens meter, so I can't predict perfectly what you're gonna see, but it's gonna be something pretty close to what you see here on the screen. You're gonna take your lens and you're gonna be holding it like this. And this is kind of important because it allows you to move the lens around in multiple directions. You're not gonna take your lens holder off. You're simply gonna use your finger to relieve a little bit of the tension that the lens holder is placing against the lens and the lens stop. Looking inside, I'm gonna take that little bit of tension off and I am going to move my lens around. Just get used to how that feels. Move that lens around. Eventually what you're gonna to wanna to do is start practicing getting that lens on center in the crosshairs. You actually want to be going for the center. You wanna split that thinnest center spear line. You wanna split the thicker center cylinder line. When you have those split, you are on target and this lens could be marked 
for finishing work or layout. That's all I want you to do with lens one. Don't get carried away, but don't quit here either. I do want you to go back to this three, four or five times throughout the day. Practice bringing that lens in and out of focus. Practice bringing it into center and even start throwing some dots on there. Clean it off, start over, do it again. That's it for lens one. Next time we'll get into a sphero cylinder lens where everything gets a little bit more complex and we start playing with our axis wheel as well.